Hey guys, Gokusan for the one here, and welcome back to another collection video. In this video, I'll be showing off my Pokemon card collection. Now this collection, I've been collecting, I don't know, since I was 5 or so, I'm 15 now, so around 10 years. And I've gotten some pretty cool cards. Now, if some of these cards aren't rare or don't cost a lot of money, I personally don't know the rareness of Pokemon cards, and yeah, if they look cool, then I think they're rare, pretty much. I, I'm one of those people. But, um... I'm gonna show off my older cards and then move up to like somewhat newer cards or like yeah the non-older cards so the first one in my collection is a hollow Nido king which my friend gave me a few days ago or like a few weeks ago or so now i'm not going to say much about these cards just because i have a lot of them i kind of want to get through all of them so the second one in my collection is a hollow machamp which is actually one of my favorite fighting types in my older collection just because I don't know Machamp's I like the color on Machamp and it looks like a pretty cool card so the third one is a hollow Mewtwo um, I got this offline or not offline online I bought this um I don't know I would say two years ago and it's in like it's like an 8.5 in condition I would say it's a pretty good card so Mewtwo now the fourth one is a hollow Zapdos Okay, I got this in 5th grade, I think I bought it off someone for like, two dollars or so, so it, I kind of like ripped him off in a way, because I'm pretty sure this costs way more, it's a hollow one, so, uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty cool, it's in super good condition actually, I would say like 9.0 or something like that. So, I actually have the other two legendary birds as well, which is Moltres, right here, uh, that's the second one, and then I also have Articuno, which... I was super happy once I completed these three legendary birds right here. I'm pretty sure they're the same art style and stuff, so there is Articuno. Now, we're moving on from like Gen 1 legendaries for a while and going into Gen 2 legendaries. I've got a Pokemon Forever Suicune. Now, I have no idea how rare this card is. I bought it for like $4 somewhere, I don't remember where. But by the looks of it, it looks pretty rare to me. I don't know, it's one of my favorite legendaries, that's for sure. So, I actually got another legendary dog here, it's a reverse holo Entei, which my friend gave me with the Machamp and also the Nidoking, which is pretty cool of him, I really do appreciate that, so, this is the Entei. Now, I only have two more cards in my old Pokemon card collection, and these are probably my rarest. I have the movie Mewtwo, or not Mewtwo, Mew that was, I think it was, I don't remember, someone told me this, but apparently it was given out during the first movie of Pokemon when it was in theaters, that's what I heard. It's got like a shine from it from my uh, computer screen, but it's pretty cool. This is like my favorite, favorite card, well, besides the one I'm about to show you guys, but this is like one of those cards that I saw that my friend had, and like, I've been trying to get it for three years or so. I recently got it a year ago, but... It was one of those cards I was searching for for a while, and I found a good price for it to buy. Um, so, the Mew card. Now, the final card in my old Pokemon card collection. Um, this isn't the final card in general, but it's the Char- I don't know how much this is worth. Apparently it's worth like $300 or something, but it's a Hollow Charizard. Um, I don't know how rare these things are. I've heard they're, they cost a lot of money, like $300 like I said earlier. But this is probably my, besides the Mew, my favorite old Pokemon card. And it's like in super good condition. I think it's a 9.5 or so. Um, I've never taken it out of this thing after I bought it. So I don't know how much it's been touched either. But yeah, this is the final card in my old Pokemon collection, card collection. So moving on from the old Pokemon cards, I actually have a few uh, shiny Pokemon cards that I would like to show you guys. I have a few of them. I have a duplicate of one of them, I think, if I could actually find it. Yeah, there it is. So I'm going to show off the legendary dogs first. I have, like, every single shiny of one of those guys. Uh, the first one right here is a Entei. Shiny Entei. I have two of them. Um, I don't remember if these were, like, in... I'm pretty sure these were in tins. You were able to buy these cards in tins or something like that. But, yeah, the shiny Entei. Now, here is a shiny Suicune card that I got. I know it doesn't look very shiny, but it is shiny. I didn't even know it was shiny, actually. I didn't know any of these legendary dogs were until like a year ago or so when I actually looked at them again and realized, oh, these are a different color. So that's Suicune, and then here is the Raikou right here. I'd say the Entei's probably my favorite. Entei's always been my favorite of the legendary dogs. There's Raikou. 
And moving on from the legendary dogs, we actually got uh, shiny uh, Rayquaza. Now, I pulled this from a pack, I think, when I was seven or so, and I didn't like I didn't understand shinies and stuff, so I didn't think it was that rare. I just was like, Black Rayquaza, oh my god! And I, I didn't know it was actually shiny, but now I do. I don't know how much these shiny cards actually cost, but I would think they cost like $15, $10 or so. So now I have a shiny Ho-Oh right here. This shiny Ho-Oh actually has a story behind it. My friend pulled it from a pack, and he was like, Oh, this Ho-Oh is a different color. I'm like, no, you're, it's not. It's, you're colorblind. Here, I'll trade you a, another legendary that's not shiny for it, and I actually tricked him into doing it. I, I don't know, it was kind of a rude thing to do, but I got the shiny ho out of it, and I'm pretty sure he knows now, but he doesn't really care anymore, but yeah, shiny ho, -ho. Now, we don't have any legendaries left, but we still have a shiny Gyarados that I got. Um, I don't even know if this thing costs that much, but I got it from my friend for free, I remember, he just gave it to me. Uh, we didn't think Shiny Gyarados was that rare, so he just like, yeah. Threw it in my Pokemon cards, I was like, here, take it. The camera wants to focus, actually, there we go. So this is a Shiny Gyarados. Now that's it for my Shiny Pokemon cards. I'm gonna show you guys, actually, some full body Pokemon cards now. I don't have that much of them. I actually think I have more in my EX pile, but these are non-EXs. So, I'm gonna show off my trainers first that I got. So I got a Getsus. I don't know if this is rare or not. Like I said earlier, if they look cool to me, I'm gonna assume they're rare, but I got a Getsus and then I also have a Wally card right here. I recently actually got this in a pack opening on my channel. I, uh, yeah, filmed it and everything, put it on my channel and stuff. So if you guys wanna go check out that, vid that video, that would be uh, great. But now moving on to some legendary full arts. Um, I'm gonna show both of these off at once. We've got a Rushiram and also a Kiram. Uh, oh no, a Rush a Kiram, a Rushiram and a Zekrom. But I don't remember if I got this from a pack or not. I think I got this from a tin on my birthday. Someone bought me a tin and I got both of them at once, and I was like, oh my god, my luck is so good. Then I realized these things aren't that rare because I have like ten other copies of them. But yeah, here are the full bodies. Now this one I actually got last Christmas, and I don't know if this like is a super rare card or not. It looks like it. It's a gold Zekrom card. I don't know if you guys can exactly see the Zekrom. I'm pretty sure you guys can, if the camera wants to focus. Okay, it looks like it's not going to focus, so I'm just going to hold it out here. But I got this in a pack um, last Christmas, and it was pretty cool. It was like my only rare pull I got. So the shiny, or not shiny, the gold Zekrom. Now that's it for the full bodies. I'm going to show you guys off my level X Pokemon now. I actually have a lot of them here. Um, the first one I have is a level X Rayquaza, which is Cynthia's actually. Uh, this was probably my favorite card for a while, because this is what these were one of my, uh, or I only had one at the time, but it was like one of my only rare cards. And my friends all wanted it, and I was like, no. And we also didn't know how to play Pokemon, so like Pokemon cards, so when we saw the 200 attack we were like this card's OP because we didn't understand energies and stuff And I don't even know if this card's actually good or not because I still don't play the game, but uh, I assume it's not the greatest in the world, but anyways, here's the level X Rayquaza So the second one I have is a level X Salamence, which I also have two of um, I have a few doubles of these so Yeah, I'm not, again. I'm not gonna say too much about all the cards because I do want to get through all of them now, I also have a level X Palkia. Again, two copies. I think I have a few more of these that are two copied, but yeah, Palkia. This is uh, the Team Galactic boss, Cyrus's, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Now, moving on, we've got a level X Rhyperia, which I think my friend gave me a couple of years ago, which is pretty cool. And we also have got a level X Charizard, which is also Cyrus's. I don't know how much of these they are, like Cyrus says Pokemon that are level X. I'm, I've seen a few of them, but I don't know if it was like a series or something. So level X Charizard. And I also got, it's pretty bad condition, but it's a level X um, Lucario right here. As you can see, it's kind of like ripped up at the back. My friend just gave it to me for free, so it wasn't like I bought it or anything or I ruined it myself. It was my friend's before. But we've got two different Arceus EX, or not EXs, X level X cards here. Uh, two different arts. One's looking up, one's looking down. 
which is pretty cool. I like the little design at the bottom of these right here. They're pretty cool. So moving on from that, we also have a, or I also have a level X Dialga, which is also Cyrus's. So we've got both the Dialga and also the Palkia, which is pretty cool. And I also have got another double right here. I've got a double of a Dark Rai X. Uh, actually, these are two different arts though. I didn't realize that before. They have the same movesets, I think. Yeah, it's just two different arts, which actually, I don't know why they would have done that. It's pretty cool though. Okay, we all. I also have a Cresselia, Cresselia level X, and then an Electivire level X. Actually, I think I traded my friend. For, yeah, I traded a card to my friend for this. I don't know why. It was just level X, and I was like, oh my god, I want another level X card, because I thought they were so cool and rare back then. I also have a Shaman level X, then a Floatzel, which. Uh, I think I traded my, the same friend for this card as well. I don't know, I, I think I took all of his level X's. And we got a Drapion, a Blaziken, and then finally, my last level X card, I have an Infernape, which is kind of, kind of a derpy, like, art right here, as you can see. I don't know, it doesn't look too... It looks like his body's all squished, it's kind of funny. That's it for my level X's. I'm gonna move on to some... I would say kind of miscellaneous, I guess. Uh, I don't know if these are really rare or not. But first off, I've got a Celebi card, which I got a double of, which I think are rare. And they look cool to me. I like the way the art style is of the Celebi and then like the little silver around and the little spikes coming out of the little top right there. So that's pretty cool. And then I got two. I don't think I have the other two cards to these, but I got the bottom of both. Um, this is a Rayquaza and Deoxys one, and then a Cresselia and Darkrai, I'm pretty sure. I think I have, for the Cresselia and Darkrai, a giant card that I'll be showing off later. But yeah, these two cards. So that's it for those little, like, miscellaneous cards. I'm gonna be showing you guys my level X's. Now, with my level X's, I actually have a few old ones that I'm gonna show off first, and then I'll move into the newer ones. I think I have, like, a super rare old EX, though. So first, I got a Sceptile, which I traded to my friend, and then I got it back recently. He kind of gave me a, a fake card from Japan that I thought was real, so yeah, he gave it back to me for free. And then, actually I'll show that one off last. So second, I've got a Rayquaza EX, and then a one of my favorite EXs actually, because for Alligator is my favorite Pokemon, or second at least. My favorite starter, that's for sure. But we got a level, or an EX for Alligator, and EX Arcanine, and a EX Tyranitar. All these cards I think I bought all at once, which is pretty cool. Now this is the final EX card for the older ones that I'm going to show you guys off. Um, I don't know, I've heard that this card's like super rare, my friend told me, because he used to play the train card game, but at the bottom here it has like these lines which are supposed to mean something. I don't know exactly, but... Apparently, he said it was super rare, so I thought I would show this one off. So that's pretty much it for my older EXs. Now we're going to move into my newer EXs that I've actually got recently in the last two years, I would say. So first, I've got a shiny Rayquaza EX. It doesn't look too shiny, but if I like bring it up a bit, you can see it's like black. It's a pretty cool one. One of my favorite EXs of Rayquaza that I have. And then I have a few of these actually. These are actually world cards. I got. F I have to think. I actually think I have one more copy of these, but I've got a bunch of EX Mewtwo's. If you guys want to see the full thing, there it is. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, at the back, you see it says World Championships 2012. I don't know if this like brings down the cost of the card or not, but I got a bunch of them in the same set, so I assume so. Now the. I think this is their third newer EX we have. I recently actually got this in a poll on one of my videos, a pack poll. Um, we got a Garatina EX, that's pretty cool looking. And then I also got this as well. I got an Agron EX, which I was excited to pull. I definitely want some more legendary ones because I love legendary EXs, they always look super cool, but uh, an EX is an EX, that's for sure. And then finally, or not like finally, but like one of the last cards that I recently got was a Yamagi EX, which I don't know, it was a mixed emotion one, it was kind of funny that I thought it was a cool card and then it was like only Malga, but 
yeah, that's pretty cool as well. So we also, I also got actually, I mean, uh, Charizard EX right here. Um, this came in a box with a giant version of this. It's kind of beat up though. I'll show it off later, but yeah, Charizard EX. Now here's a full box. Okay guys, I'm back. Sorry, my camera died. So we're going to continue on here, but I've got a full body Zekrom EX card right here. I got this with the gold Zekrom card that I showed off earlier. Uh, yeah, I got two pulls, not just one, but I think I got in the second pack after I opened up the golden one, but this is pretty cool. It's one of my favorite Zekrom cards I have. Definitely love the blue lightning in it with the Zekrom and how it's full body and stuff. So I think I only have, yeah, I only have four more. Um, I have a Kyogre EX right here that I actually recently got as well. I think I actually got the from the same video as the Eggeron, I think. I don't remember though. Oh, there's the Kyogre. And then I also, actually I'll show all of these up at once. All these uh, at once here. Uh, these are the P Power Beyond cards that you get from the Power Beyond tins. I recently did uh, openings for all of these. So we got the Hoopa EX, we got the Rayquaza EX, and the Latios EX. They're pretty cool. Uh, the Hoopa EX is definitely my favorite, even though Rayquaza is my favorite legendary. But I've, I, this is like the only Hoopa Unbound card I have, I think. So that's pretty cool. Now that's it for my EX cards. Um, I don't know. Let me see actually what we have left here. Um, I have some Mega Evolutions that I get to show, and then my Giant cards, which are left. So... Here is my first EX card, or Mega EX. I actually have another one that I lost. I'm still looking for it. I know where, it's somewhere in my room, that's for sure. It's a Mega Diancy EX, but yeah, I'm still looking for it. So here is my first one, um, a Mega Blastoise EX. Probably my favorite at the moment for all my Megas. That's cool. And then... I got doubles. I thought it was going to be Mega Charizard X and Y, but I got two Mega Charizard Ys. I've been debating to actually sell one or not, but then again, a Mega Evolution is a Mega Evolution, so why not keep both? Just for the hell of it. So those are pretty much it for my Mega Evolutions. I haven't really gone the greatest pulls lately for the newer cards, so yeah. I would have the Mega Diancy, but I don't exactly uh, know where it is at the moment, but... I still do have the giant card. I'm gonna show off my giant cards now. Let's see if we can actually show all of this. This was the card I lost, the smaller version. I still have the larger version, so that's pretty cool. So the Mega Diancy, and then I have a Mega Rayquaza Shiny EX actually, which I feel this one's gonna be worth a lot one day just because it is a shiny one and it's a big card, which is pretty cool. That's pretty much it for my, I don't think I have any more Mega Evolution Giant cards, so I have a Giant Arceus card right here, which I don't remember where I actually got this one. I think I just like bought it by itself, but Arceus level 100. And then I have an EX, which is actually kind of beat up right here. As you can see, the plastic at the top is like falling off. I don't know why it is though, um, it's a little beat up at the back as well. But this was the same card as my small one, it came together. I think I showed it off like, I don't know, a minute ago or so, but Charizard EX. Now this, this card right here, me and my friends, I don't know, my friends wrote on it, but I didn't. You have a choice to write the attack name and then the name up here, but I decided not to. My friends always like, because we didn't play the actual trading card game, they used to always use it against me, I used to always get mad, because it heals the damage from all this Pokemon. And it has 200 HP and it does 100 damage. And we also didn't use um, energy, so they could just keep attacking over and over again, which I kind of got mad about, but yeah, snappy card. So this one, probably one of my favorites. It was actually, I think, my first giant card. It's kind of beat up now, though, because um, it is pretty old and I didn't keep good care of it. But it's the Zorark and the Legendary Pokemon. Um, I think this came out with a Zorark um, box or something like that. But this is before, like, Zorark was actually catchable in the Pokemon games. I actually thought Zorark was a legend because, a uh, legendary Pokemon because of this card when I first got it. So, yeah, the Zorark card. Now, these cards, I'm going to show them all off at once. Uh, I think these are actually my only two, but 
like I said before, I did have giant versions of these. I used to have a full small version of this, but I did lose it. And then I have the full Crystal Elliot and Darkrai um, card right here. These are pretty cool. I wish I had all of them that, like the smaller cards, which are half and half. I wish I, ha I, wish I had all of them, but I don't. I still have the giant cards though, so that's pretty cool. So those are those. And then I also got a cool looking Zora card right here. Now there's an illusion where it's like the little dark energies that you see are like, I don't know. They're making the font look 3D. I don't think you guys can really see it on the camera though. It just kind of looks like on the card. But the Zora card right here. That was also the same for that Snivy card that I showed earlier. Now this is another double. This is actually the last card in my whole collection. Um, I showed this card off earlier, but this one's in better condition right here. See, it doesn't have like the little uh, creases and stuff at the back, so that's pretty cool. I actually have a good copy, which I probably could sell instead of the other one. But that's pretty much it for all my Pokemon cards. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, go ahead and tell me what you did like in the video. Go ahead and also tell me uh, some of your Pokemon card collection. I'd like to see what other people have for... Pokemon cards and see that I'm not the only one who's collecting a bunch of random cards and stuff. But yeah, if you guys like this video, shoot that like button with Kamehameha.